So up until a little over six months ago, I was Zionist and I supported Israel. And as of yesterday, I went to my first, um, I don't feel like I can even say pro-Palestinian rally, just like humanity rally. Um, I was living in India, I came back to the States, and I'm in New York right now. And so given that I very recently was supporting Israel, I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts now that I have broken out of Zionism and what that experience was like being at this rally. So for starters, I cannot tell you how good it felt, how cleansing and nourishing to the soul it felt to be able to say, Israel, go to hell in a chant because you know i've been thinking it for six months to myself um but to be able to get to say it with all of these other humans just so good secondly i you know i've been in india i've been showing up online but i haven't been physically present in the us and in the midst of all of these protests and so i'm sure zionists were probably like she doesn't know how threatening it is. She doesn't know how scary it is here. So I came back. I came back to see what it's like. And, you know, I'd heard all the rhetoric. I obviously knew it was all BS because mainstream media is BS and every single Zionist talking point is BS. Um, so I knew that there was no anti-Semitism that was going to be taking place here. But being physically in the crowd, being physically in this protest, I had to laugh like it was it is so absurd it is so absurd because there is literally nothing nothing that is threatening about these protests as a jewish woman i was literally like next to rabbis with payas i was next to other folks wearing kippot i was next to people wearing t-shirts saying jews for a ceasefire we are all shouting stop killing children so that was just super absurd and i i don't think i will ever honestly fully be able to reckon with the fact that zionists are continuing to say that people asking to end a genocide is anti-semitic and not seeing just how anti-semitic that is how bad that makes jews look so that's the second thing third thing you know there weren't a lot of counter protesters as in you know zionists um, at this point, again, there's really, I mean, what, what can be said? Uh, the only chant that would actually ring true is just like, we love stealing land, we love killing children. Um, but of course I did hear bring back the hostages, um, which as we've talked about many times, um, if you actually cared about the hostages, you would be anti-Zionist because it is very clear, very clear that Israel does not care about its hostages. It has turned down multiple hostage deals, multiple, including in the first week, and has continued to mercilessly bombard and starve the very place where the hostages are being held. So it doesn't take a lot of analytical uh, prowess to be able to understand that those actions don't really equate to having any care whatsoever for the hostages. So hearing that, again, just absurd. Final thing I will share about my experience of being at these protests was, you know, NYPD, they came in hot last night. They brought a lot of people, special units, special forces. They had their masks over their heads. They had, you know, the zip ties for arrests, the batons, obviously their guns, so many of them. And you have to just look at it and be like, oh, they are so scared. They are so scared because what Palestine represents is a threat to this entire structure, this entire supremacist, colonized, Western imperialist structure. But I'm standing there and I'm I'm right in front of them. Like right there, we're, you know, eye to eye. I'm giving them a little look down. They always look away first. And I, again, just had this moment of absurdity where I'm like, are there actually people that think that it's on the right side of history to be standing with the cops 
And do we actually think the cops in the U.S., like everything that's going on right now in the U.S., all the encampments, all, every, everyone coming in to kind of violently uh, end all of these protests, they're doing that because they care about Jewish safety? They care about a state for the Jews? You think all of these structures are going this hard for Jews? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, had this moment standing in front of the cops where I have never felt prouder to be Jewish. I have never felt more connected to my ancestors in that moment because I knew, as I have known for every minute of the day since leaving Zionism, that I am standing on the side of humanity I'm connected to my soul as I live, breathe, and think about what a free Palestine represents for everyone on this earth. I'm finally, finally standing with a people that have a deep love for their land, that have endured decades and decades of brutal and violent occupation and oppression at the hands of the Zionist regime. And I know what that feels like because Jews are so deeply rooted in what it means to be an oppressed group of people that we can see it and stand with it and what a blessing and what an honor that gets to be. And so my time last night was deeply nourishing, deeply healing, deeply empowering. And I am so grateful to finally be on the side where I get to say enough, enough. We are not doing this anymore. Palestine will be free because that is the only, only way forward. And that is the beginning of how we build a world that we all deserve to live in. Free Palestine.